Hi, it's Andrew Bell here with you for the first time in 2014. I hope your Christmas and New Year were all that you would have wished for. In talking now to what is a large group of people over the past month or so, it's wonderful to see such optimism about 2014. Whilst our economy is definitely going through a transition from the boom years of our mining infrastructure construction phase, back to a more balanced and perhaps a traditional broader based economy, which will produce some very conservative years in growth over that period of time, there are sectors of the economy whose time it is to shine. There is no doubt that most people are aware of the very strong resurgence in the real estate market. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. There are so many underlying contributors to that activity that's occurring. It's not uniform and in fact there are many cycles within a broader cycle. There are also some predictable outcomes and there are some wild cards that could have a very big impact on the real estate market. So this year's annual property report, which we will be holding on Monday the 27th of January at the Gold Coast Turf Club, will be more compelling than any year gone by. While most people have been sitting on the fence or on the sidelines during the GFC, so many people are now getting back into the market. And so being informed about all of the latest information and developments is crucial to making the correct decisions. Now this is a free promotion that runs for just a little under an hour prior to the commencement of the event 2014 auctions. We'd be delighted to have your company. How has the year started off is certainly the most frequently asked question of me since Christmas. And the answer is, it's still early days. But if the activity to date is any measure, then it's a sane but a very strong start. In fact, there was really no traditional slowdown from the middle of December to Christmas. We were flat out and there were lots of sales occurring. Last year Boxing Day was incredibly busy, this year it wasn't. But once Friday the 27th rolled around, sales teams were run off their feet. One particular agent conducted 14 different property inspections on that Friday alone. Now inquiries are stimulated from a wide range of sources such as our signs and letterbox drops and internet, but the two huge contributors was our e-brochures to our database of about 200,000 clients and of course the phones went off big time once the Gold Coast Bulletin commenced distribution on the first Saturday. Now whilst a very large proportion of the inquiries were from our visiting interstate parties, it was amazing to see how active our locals were at this time. Taking advantage of their holiday break to source their buying opportunities. In terms of motivation, the number one by a country mile was the confidence that the next four years here on the Gold Coast, leading up to the Commonwealth Games, will be great years for the Gold Coast. Nowhere else in the country will receive more attention than the Gold Coast over this lead up period. Second motivation was that the Gold Coast property market was the one to experience the greatest price correction during the GFC and therefore had the greatest capacity for a strong bounce back. The people felt that they needed to get in early to get the full benefit of that bounce back. The third motivation is a belief, and I guess it's been supported by recent data, that Queensland is back in full growth mode once again and that it'll be one of the strongest states moving forward. Did you know that Queensland posted the best employment figures by country mile in December. What I read into the feedback from buyers was fundamentally their confidence was up and that there was more confidence about the Gold Coast than most other markets in Australia. What a turnaround. There is no question at all that we've had strong activity and also on the back of the international market. And that's been evident by our 11 Chinese staff that have been incredibly busy with Asian buyers even at this stage, several weeks before the Chinese New Year commences. And there'll be a huge influx of our Asian guests at that time of the year. So two weeks of activity is certainly not enough to make a full assessment of the present market. It certainly adds, however, to the strong activity that was occurring in the three months leading up to Christmas. We've been blessed with a huge influx of tourists into the Gold Coast combined with great weather. So it's been a good start for the Gold Coast in 2014. For me, the omens are very positive. Should note that even after just a fortnight, well over 30 sales have occurred. So that's a strong indicator. Now with our property report, not only will we be able to provide you with a lot of factual information compiled throughout the second half of 2013, but we'll be able to give you the finger on the pulse version of what's really been happening throughout January. So mark it in your diary to be with us, to get the inside running, about the real estate market, not only in Australia, but more importantly, the Gold Coast. Well, look forward to catching up with you very soon. Remember to look through our company e-newsletter for all of the great properties that we have participating in the Event 2014 program. There are some absolute bell ringers, and it's without a doubt the best selection of properties we've ever had 
in the 20 years of the event. We also have access to the best interest rates available in the marketplace at present and we're happy to provide those to you, whether it's for a new purchase or indeed refinancing. Also have a good look through this week's Gold Coast Bulletin at the Ray White pages, of course at the very start, with the Event 2014 logo at the top of the page for a further review of the best selection of Gold Coast properties that you will find. Happy New Year to you and look forward to sharing a great 2014 on the Gold Coast. Best wishes.